Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I got prepared to print the Green Goblin mask. What I did is I have the iPhone 10, uh, so I went ahead and I downloaded uh, EM3D, which is a app for the iPhone 10. I'm not sure if you can actually download it for other apps, but as you can see here, behind the blur um, is a scan of my face. It took a little bit of time to scan my face. Uh, what I actually did was I started from the top of my head uh, and went went down towards the middle of my face and then down to the bottom of my chin then came back up and went around um, by like carefully placing my phone which is in selfie mode it has to be done in selfie mode um, onto a tripod and I just kind of rotated very carefully it took about easily about uh, 20 to, th to 30 tries but uh, I ended up getting a nice scan of my head here is the mask that I got. Uh, it's the Green Goblin mask. I actually got it for free. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I went to uh, do3d.com and I went to their free tab here and I found the uh, Green Goblin helmet over here. It's a V1. You just click on it and you add it to your cart or you do buy now. You sign in and it gives you the free helmet. And apparently um, there's a new version of this. So it says full body and more accurate version here. So you can just copy and paste this and grab that if you'd like. So here's the helmet. I actually needed to scale the helmet up uh, to fit around my ears because my ears were poking out back here. This piece actually uh, goes around my neck pretty tightly. Uh, so most likely I'm gonna have to bend it as I'm putting it on. As you can see, it penetrates the geometry here when I go around my neck but I got it to fit right. All I did was kind of just scale it out uh, this way and uh, got it to fit. So with that being done, I went ahead and I actually broke up the pieces uh, how I thought would be the best way. Um, so I broke up the jaw here, then the face mask and the back piece here, then the very back piece. Uh, along with the back plate, I actually broke it up this way and have these two pieces here. And I might do these uh, sometime later. Uh, this is the, the eyes and the mouth, but I may just do that later. So yeah, these are the pieces that I have. It's gonna take quite a bit of time to do all this, especially this piece here. I think this piece is slated for about six days. All right, guys, here's a snippet of the G-code files that I have for the Green Goblin. Um, I know that with my Creality CR10 Smart, I can't exceed 17 characters for me to be able to see what I'm printing on the screen. So anything beyond 17 characters, it won't print. So what I like to do is I like to abbreviate. So this is GGB, which is Green Goblin Back. Uh, and then I number the part within Maya. And then I'll, I do a double underscore and I put 2.20.38, which means two days, 20 hours, and 38 minutes. So as you can see here, I got a two-day print, which is actually almost a three-day print. And then the six days, three hours, and 16 minutes print, I got another one day. This is going to take quite a bit of time. Um, and I thought in the beginning when I was first starting 3D printing that having long prints was not normal but uh, over time I realized that hey no it is normal so let's do a little bit of a tally here see how long it's gonna take so I got two days plus six days plus one day plus one day plus two days and then with the 20 hours and the 20 hours plus a little bit of change here and there I'm gonna give it an extra two days so it's gonna take two weeks for me to print this mask and maybe there's quicker ways of doing it but as you could tell uh, it's a pretty complicated mask. There's a lot of undulations and a lot of contours and a lot of surface changes. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. It looks like a real, real cool mask. I really, really like this Green Goblin helmet. So I wanted to always have a flat surface for me to lay down onto the print bed. So for example, I have this piece here that is completely flat and I could either lay it down this way which is more or less flat or I can lay it down this way and likewise with the mask I wanted to create flat surfaces so I have a flat surface here and a flat surface here and 
yeah so I, I laid it down like this this one is actually the six day print this is going to take six days to print like this but i just wanted to make a note that i created flat surfaced areas uh, for me to be able to lay it down flat onto the print bed and same with this this i believe i laid it down flat like that onto the print bed and likewise with these pieces i think i went ahead and i laid it down flat like this what i do before slicing up my models is that i create a bounding box within Maya that is the print area for the Creality or any other 3D printer I'm using. Just so I know that when I bring it into Creality, I've sliced it the right way so that it fits properly. So when I bring it in here, I can just move it in and go, okay, yeah, that's gonna fit just fine. And likewise with all the other pieces, it fits perfectly. So I create a bounding box just to make sure that everything fits. All right, let's jump into Creality here. All right, guys, so I don't have any special settings. I pretty much just leave almost everything a standard. The only thing I did change was I did change this to 1.2. I changed the top and bottom thickness to 1.2 so that I have some extra filament to sand down. And I think I actually turned this to raft so that it has really good bed adhesion. Other than that, this is pretty much all I did. And laid it down flat like this, as center as I could possibly make it and I sliced it. All right guys, and so just finished slicing this model and as you can tell, it's gonna take six days, two hours and 14 minutes. And if there's a better way of doing it, please guys comment down below and let me know what that better way is, what you might think it might be. As you guys can see here, this is how much filament this thing is gonna eat up and it's gonna eat up about four spools of 200 grams of filament. And most of it looks like it's going to the supports, which is totally fine, because I'm using a filament that I haven't had great experience with, so hopefully it'll just break off really easily. And I'm gonna prime it and sand it and all that, so it shouldn't really matter. But yeah, this is it here, and I'm gonna take you over to the first day's print. I think we're about six hours into this print. All right, what's up everybody? So. We're here at the Creality CR10 Smart. We're about six hours and 14 minutes into the print. And it's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty good. Uh, so far it's just laid down all of the raft. And it's looking just like how it looked on the slicer. I'm using a filament that I'm not gonna name. You could probably see it, but um, this filament has not been too kind to me. Uh, it's been printing very loose. The layer lines are not adhering very nicely. And as you can see here, it's kind of just weak in general. But that makes for good uh, supports. And since most of this here, all of this inner part here is gonna be all supports, I figured I might as well just use that filament. I'm actually gonna use all the filament that I don't like. I have a few spools of filament that I'm not a fan of. And hopefully that'll print out this thing and wouldn't be too big of a waste uh, filament for <laughs> almost a thousand grams of filament. Um, I got a ton of it over here. So uh, I got this multicolor pack. These are the two other filaments that I don't like. This is the one that was sent with the machine when I bought it, brand new. For some reason these whites are very brittle as well as this specific black one. Um, but really looking forward to the ending of this print. All right guys, if you wanna see more content like this and see the continuation of this Green Goblin helmet build, please do subscribe. Click that like button, it really means a lot to me to see that people are liking the content that I'm putting out there. And please share this with your friends if you know anybody else that's into 3D printing or the Green Goblin or just making 3D printed props, please go ahead and share this video with them. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and joy. What's up, everybody? This is day two in this six-day print of the Green Goblin mask, just a portion of it. And we are 34 hours and 26 minutes into a six-day print. And this is the progress so far. Looking real smooth. The Creality CR10 Smart is able to handle it like a charm. Loving it so far. All right, guys, just wanted to make that update. Till next time, peace, love, and joy.